integers the next set of numbers in the field of mathematics after the natural numbers and the whole numbers is integers and this plays one of the most important important role in the set of numbers in the number system so let's see what are integers or set of integers in the field of mathematics integers are denoted by capital z or capital z and it is nothing but the set of all numbers natural numbers and whole numbers which are both positive and negative so in simple in the most simple understanding i understand that the set of integers is the natural numbers and the whole numbers taken both in the positive side and the negative side say for example let me start with the positive side we know that the whole numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 etc up to infinity is what we understand the natural numbers or the whole numbers added with 0 in the positive side so integers also include the negative part of it say for example i have all the positive side on the right side then i have all the negative numbers on the left minus 1 minus 2 is how we frame the complete set of integers in this form of the positive side being the natural the whole the natural numbers of the positive sign and the left side being the negative numbers of the natural numbers which are negative in sign divided by zero so i have all this to be positive natural numbers and all this to be negative natural numbers along with zero so positive natural numbers plus zero plus negative natural numbers together make the set of integers is how we understand the difference between the natural numbers the whole numbers and the integers the set of integers being denoted by by capital z also it is very important to note that the set of integers is again further classified into positive integers and negative integers and non-negative and non-positive integers so let's see how the classifications are done say for example i have the set of integers then i have four types of classifications for this the first being positive integers denoted by z plus and next is negative integers denoted by z minus and thirdly i have non positive integers and next i have non negative integers so this set of integers denoted by z which has both the positive and negative signs and the neutral zero is classified into four types which is very essential to understand before we understand the entire set of integers z so this is classified into positive integers denoted by z plus negative integers denoted by z minus and non positive integers and non negative integers so let's see what each of them differs with z plus as clearly mentioned for positive integers states that we pick only the positive part of the integers so we know that the positive integers start from 1 2 3 4 5 etc therefore this set z plus has all the numbers which start from 1 and end till infinity so set of positive integers denoted by z plus is now 1 2 3 4 5 similarly the negative integers z minus is all the numbers which come on the negative side 
that is on the left of 0 of the main set of integers z. Therefore, negative integers denoted by z minus starts with minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on and so forth. Is how we write the set of negative integers. Similarly, let's see what does this non-positive and non-negative integers differ, differ with their definitions as compared to these. It is very important to note that both look similar, positive and non-positive. So let's see how the difference comes. So positive integers is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and non-positive integers is all those integers which are not positive. Now before we come into classification of non-positive and non-negative integers, let's try to make a very important note that 0 is neither positive nor negative. It is neutral. Neither positive nor negative. It is neutral is how I understand the importance of 0 in the branch of numerals. So 0 is neither positive nor negative. It is neutral. Therefore, when I say non-positive, I include all the non-positive integers which are neither positive but only negative but even 0 included because even 0 is a non-positive integer. So it comes out to be 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on and so forth till infinity. Now we have the non-positive integers to be 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on and so forth. As compared to the negative integers, we clearly understand that non-positive integers is nothing but the set of negative integers including 0. Because 0 is a non-positive integer, neither positive nor negative and therefore I have this indirectly written as all the negative integers including 0 is how I understand the non-positive integers. Similarly let's see what does the non-negative integers define. As we clearly know that non-negative indicates all the positive numbers so I have all the positive natural numbers which come under the branch of non-negative integers and including 0. Therefore, if I have this set which includes 0 which is neither positive nor negative and including 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. till infinity then this set is non-negative integer set. So set of all non-negative integers being this is clearly understood as all the positive integers including 0. Therefore, as we have written for all negative integers including 0, now as we have this non-negative integers, we have this to be z plus union 0. The set of all positive integers including 0, which is neither positive nor a non-negative integer, is the set of non-negative integers which is combination of positive integers and the 0. Therefore, I have four classifications for z, which has positive integers denoted by z plus, which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till infinity, and the negative integers denoted by z minus includes minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on and so forth. And non-positive integers, which is all the negative integers including 0 denoted by z minus union 0, and similarly, the non-negative integers, which includes all the positive integers and the 0, is how we understand the different classifications of the set of integers z. Now let's see some example problems to understand the concept more better. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.